garden friends i'm tiffany and welcome to my channel today i am germinating some of my perennial seeds and i do the paper towel method so i wanted to bring you along to show you in case you want to start your seeds this way it's a great space saver you can check to see if you even have viable seeds without having to take up space with your seed trays and your soil and mess with all of that and then whatever germinates then you can transplant those into your seed trays so all that you're going to need to do this method is your Ziplocs. So I use the quart size, you can use gallon size, it doesn't really matter. And you can use any brands of paper towels because you're going to be folding these in half and they all will fit any size Ziploc. You're going to need your seeds, so any seeds work. So annuals, perennials, flowers, vegetables, fruits, anything. You can all use this method with them. And then you need a spray bottle of water. You're going to take a bottle of water. So I've already dumped this into this spray bottle, so it's not full. You're gonna want a full bottle of water and pour a little bit out so that there's a little bit of space. And then you're gonna take the cap of your hydrogen peroxide bottle, fill up the cap of this bottle, and then pour it into the water bottle. So you need 3%, it'll say it on the back right here, 3% hydrogen peroxide. It's just going to dilute the solution, so you want majority water. And you can use way more solution than just a cap full of hydrogen peroxide, but it's just like a little bit of a booster to help speed up the germination process. So I've already done that, so it, this is the hydrogen peroxide solution in this spray bottle. So that's completely optional. You can just use water. My seeds germinate just fine, but in case you have those like harder, stubborn seeds that you're trying to germinate, or maybe it's been weeks and you're just not seeing any germination, try the hydrogen peroxide diluted solution and see if that helps. So that's all that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna start with my alliums next. So if you're using the skinny paper towels that I have, some of them come like this. Just fold it in half one time and it will fit into this quart size. And then you're gonna wet it down with your spray bottle. So don't go too crazy. You just want it to be already pre-moistened before laying some seeds on it. And I'm gonna grab my alliums. So I collect anything in these white envelopes I'm collecting outside from my own perennials in the fall. So I have some videos available to show you how to do that. So I did alliums, I love alliums. And I want a lot more of these. They're really easy to see. And then you're just gonna sprinkle them on your paper towel. Kind of just spread them out. I'm gonna kind of just spread them out with my fingers. Just give them like a little bit of centimeters between each other so they're not quite touching. So kind of like that. At least I'm using black, you can see it a little bit better. Now spray it a little bit with your, just your solution. I'm gonna go up high because there's a little bit of air that comes out along with this. I don't wanna spray the seeds around. Just give it another little spray on top. Now open up your Ziploc. Put my hand in there kind of open it up now take your hand underneath this paper towel and your seeds shouldn't move so I just did all that and they didn't move and then you're just going to carefully place it into your Ziploc and then hold on to the bottom so you can remove remove your hand and then you can just manipulate the paper towel lay it back flat and then you're going to close majority of the bag leaving a little bit of a gap so right here, and then you're gonna blow into it. So blow air into it and quickly close the Ziploc. Now you can research your specific seeds to see what they prefer to germinate best. So some like complete darkness. So you could put a towel over this, put it in a dark room. Some need light to germinate. So that's when you would put it by a window, like a very bright area or a grow light works. And then some need hot or cold temperatures. So if it needs the hot temperatures, you could put this anywhere where it's going to get that heat. So on a heat mat, near a furnace, over your fridge, places like that. So just check um, your specific seeds so that you know where to store these. Check on the moisture every once in a while. Check on the air every once in a while and you should have germination fairly quickly. 
So I finished all of my perennial seeds. So now just to wait for them to germinate. So hopefully this video was really easy to follow and you can get started on your seeds with the paper towel method. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all those good things. It really helps me out and have fun with the paper towel method. Bye garden friends.